Hi guys, it's uh, 10 to 8 in the evening on the 5th of August. It's been a long day. I've done about another five or six readings, but but again, it seems the universe is showering me with Neptune energy. So uh, of all the readings I've done today, three of them have had either Neptune's strong oppositions or squares, and one of the two that didn't had a lot of Neptune transits going on. So certainly Neptune seems to be dominating my astrological experience at the moment. As, as my apprentice points out to me, I have Neptune opposite my progressed sun at the moment, so maybe there's something there for me to see. But it's made me think even more about the nature of Neptune opposition. So here's how I'm currently thinking about Neptune opposite moon and that opposite sun. I'm not going to differentiate between the two of them, um, except that in many ways the, the, the sun is the more masculine principle and the moon is the more feminine. But Neptune opposition really dissolves the idea of ego and sense of identity. Um, in both cases, it creates such a sensitive nature that the capacity for melancholy, at least, if not despondency, and at times despair or depression is strong. There can be a degree of emotional or physical abandonment of isolationism, of being able, of feeling disconnected to the, the mass of humanity. There can be a sense of feeling abandoned or neglected or, or just uncared for in some way, especially in the first 10 to 15 years of life. At the same time, however, Neptune opposite the sun and Neptune opposite the moon, it radically increases one's capacity for sensitivity to immediate environment. So one of the golden rules here with these people, whether it's sun or moon, is that every single day of your life, there's a need for five to ten minutes completely and utterly alone without television or radio or internet or mobile or people or book just alone. You can be dancing, you can be looking out the window, you can be staring into space, you can be meditating, you can be walking in the woods, but be alone, away from stimulus. That gives you a chance to download and to find a momentary period of equilibrium and peace within yourself. Also, with Neptune opposite the sun and the moon, there's such a capacity here for toxic overload. And it is slightly more common than average in the charts of people who can, if they're not careful, develop virals or toxins or particularly glandular issues. So the regular input of water, not Coca-Cola, not lots of lactose dairy milk, not lots of heavily saturated fats, Neptune opposite the sun encourages a really simplistic lifestyle with lots of lovely fresh fruits and salad and vegetables and water and healthy, simple, easily digestible things. It keeps the system pure. It keeps the system well oiled. Certainly not only five minutes alone every day and the drinking of regular amounts of water, but also once a month for going and sitting by the lakeside, the stream or the river or the seaside does wonders for these people. It really helps them chill out. And there they find not so much peace as solace. They find a, a, a right on the edge of the water with the land. They will find a degree of liminality almost, of comfort at a... At a quasi-magical level. It gives great empathy and great sensitivity. They're walking psychic sponges. They pick up so much stuff. That's why they make the great healers, but also the best martyrs, the best victims, the most despondent, and they just feel they're totally alone in the world. And actually, they're not. They're the best healers, the best visionaries, the best artists and dramatists, the best musicians and poets. They just sing to a different beat. As they grow older, they aspire to words like refinement, elegance, sophistication particularly. And the people around them hopefully become more and more, or less and less coarse and gross, and more and more refined and sophisticated. But sun opposite Neptune, you'll find it in the charts 
and moon opposite Neptune, you'll find it in the charts of the most fragmented and fractured individuals, the worst junkies and alcoholics, but also the greatest saints and the greatest visionaries and certainly the best intuitive, the best intuitives and the best artists and the best musicians. It's just a question of whether they choose to be the victim or the artist. Obviously, that's dictated by other factors in the chart as much as their own free will. But when you're dealing with your friend or your partner or your family person with the sun opposite moon, sun opposite Neptune, remember that they don't work in terms of logic or materials. They're not materialistic. They're not logisticians. They're visionaries. They're artists. They're dreamers. Don't forget to feed them every so often to keep them down to earth. Catch you later. Bye.